what's up guys I wanted to <clears throat> show off my zero tick sugarcane farm today it's uh, definitely gotten me a good amount of emeralds and XP just overnight so uh, in case you don't know what a zero tick farm is it basically pushes the sand back and forth and every 16 times it does that it creates a new sugarcane and I left it running overnight and I've already traded with a bunch of villagers but it got both of these chests full so I went over to my villager hall. Well, it's not really a villager hall yet, but I'll make it one eventually. All I really need to do to make it a villager hall is just organize them. I have just about every profession, but the ones you want to trade with are librarians and cartographers. So as you see, they'll give you emeralds for paper. I haven't even used three quarters of what was in that double chest overnight and I already have almost two stacks of emeralds. See when they have the X, that means they don't want to trade with you anymore because they're out of stock. So if they have access to a lectern, if they're a librarian or a cartography table, uh, if they're a cartographer, they will restock twice a day. So if you have enough of them, you can pretty much constantly trade with them. And the zero tick farm runs pretty fast, so it's pretty much a way to get unlimited emeralds. And you don't meet, need much for the zero tick farm except for sticky pistons and observers and regular pistons and just normal stuff like that. Really do need to get a door for this. Okay. So I like this a lot better than my other sugarcane farm that I showed off last video because it's been going for at least three or four days and it doesn't use as many materials and that's how much sugarcane is made while this was left overnight and it got oh, two double chests full it's also better than my manual one because I don't have to do anything with it so uh, yeah guys that's uh, a zero tick farm and why it's useful I will leave a tutorial in the a YouTube tutorial in the description of another channel and uh, thanks for watching, guys.